So I'm going to do a little woodland one today. Um, I've got my little makeshift palette here. So I'm trying to limit the colours. So I've got a purple, a black, a blue, a green and a white. But you can kind of vary these because the woodland ones you can change all the time. So if you wanted to have a woodland floor that was full of just grass or um, uh, flowers, you can change it whatever colours you've got. So I'm going to use a little brush um, for most of it today. So I'm just going to dip it in the turps and then give it a little wipe with my cloth. And then the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where the horizon is for our woodland. So just straight with the green. You can use any green, it's fine. And then I'm going to just very lightly put the paint on it. If you're using acrylic, you can mix it as you go along. Because we're using oil, we can leave it to dry just a little bit longer. Uh, the reason I'm using the little brush is because you just get a little bit more texture because it uh, leaves behind. So just add a little bit more in and then we're going to change to white. I'm not cleaning my brush in between because you don't really have to with oils. But you see as soon as I add the white, so instead of just mixing it in and making it lighter, you're almost using this like um, a pencil. So you're just sort of scrubbing it along. Try not to take it off the canvas. So it's almost like doing a constant drawing. And you get the movement in here, and that's what we're after. So we're going to lighten the whole thing up. So that's one side. And then we'll do the other side. So it's tiny, tiny bits of paint at a time. The mistake that a lot of people make with oils is they use too much paint. And when you use too much with oils, it either just takes too long to dry or you end up kind of mixing it with other colours and it just all turns brown. So tiny, tiny amounts at a time. That's why I keep reloading on my brush. And you can see it's so thin, it's barely covering the canvas. And then I'm going to add my white again. So don't take the paintbrush off the canvas, you just wriggle it. And you see how that looks like um, foliage or leaves behind. So you can add as little or as much as you want. I always like mine to be a little bit lighter in the middle and it's got a little bit of variation so that's the top half it looked like a woodland soon I promise so that's that bit and then the next bit um, it's kind of a similar theory but with purple I'm going to just keep the top bit clear for now the reason that I use red uh, as a base is it just helps it um, sort of not look as flat. You imagine if you just paint straight onto white, you've got to kind of layer it a couple of times, whereas if you do it this way, it helps. So, tiny bit of white in there again, just lightens the whole thing up. Lots of different angles and movement in there. And then the bottom bit is going to be green. So, that green will go straight into the purple. Because we want it to look quite grassy, we're just sort of doing it in this downward motion. So always put the dark, the darker bit on first, and then you can highlight it with the white. So you can see that kind of looks like grass. And the reason we've left this bit is because I want this to kind of be the bluebells. So I want this blue to be quite pure. I'll take my time putting this bit on and you guys can take your time I'm just doing this quickly so I've got something to show you and sometimes I quite like it when it just slightly mingles into that purple so there's our woodland floor and then the black is going to be very simply going to be our trees so it's come down like this Now, a good key is to vary where they are. If you have them all along the same line, it looks a little bit unnatural. So it's quite nice to um, make sure the gaps between them are varied. And you can also have one that's a bit of an angle or connected to another tree there. 
and this is a very very quick tutorial on how to sort of get started with a woodland like that so there's our trees and you can then put in as little or as much detail as you want afterwards so um, it's quite nice to go in with a couple of leaves afterwards just so the trees don't look um, kind of plonked there you can have a little bit of movement over it with some leaves you can also use different greens um, I'm just trying to um, use a limited palette for you guys because I know things might be getting hard to get hold of and then Like these bits again and there is a very very quick and simple bluebell wood there you go